Final rehearsals for Channel 4 News, an unusual sight 24 hours ahead of transmission, but tomorrow's programme will help to open a new chapter in the history of ITN. A pioneering history which began at cramped offices in London's Kingsway. Here, newscaster Chris Chataway introduced ITN's first broadcast in 1955. Good evening. Fourteen years later, the Queen opened the new ITN house close to Oxford Street. From its purpose-built studios came the first colour productions of News at Ten. Thank you, Reggie. But as ITN's commitments expanded, so did its staff, and the pressure on space became acute. With the establishment of a 24-hour news service, the time had come to move on. This time, ITN started from the ground up a £120 million broadcasting centre which will be one of the most advanced in the world. Nine floors around a central atrium bringing all ITN's operations under one roof. This week staff will leave Well Street for the last time to unpack in very different surroundings. There's elbow room and opportunity for us to expand for all the new opportunities which will come in the 1990s in areas of broadcasting and its, uh, its potential is limitless. The move is an engineer's nightmare. The new building, which includes some 400 miles of wiring, must be ready on time, but the old headquarters must remain on the air until the very last minute. All ITN programmes will be here by Christmas, but tomorrow Channel 4 Daily and Channel 4's Evening Bulletin will be on the air for real. Robert Hall, ITN, Central London. <laughs>